What's going on everybody? It's Matt Worthington here. Welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things apartment locating, real estate, motivation, uh, side hustles, making money, and a little bit of inspiration and uh, words of encouragement and advice as well. Uh, appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video as well as all the other videos that you guys have been watching here recently. Uh, makes a big difference in my world. Uh, so if you do like this, the content I'm putting out, uh, please don't hesitate to mention that in the comments. It helps me get a better idea of what you guys do like, don't like, what I can do better on, uh, what I can do less of, and um, all that is is really uh, great advice and insight. So thank you in advance for that. <clears throat> but in this video, I'm going to talk about apartment locating and how to get leads. So obviously, getting your license is no small task. It is daunting, it's a long process, and it can be difficult. But even more daunting is figuring out how you're gonna make money after you get your license. I think that's something that all of us real estate agents can agree with. Um, relating to apartment locating, one of the easiest ways to get started and get in the industry and get leads is by working for an apartment locating specific company. So in Austin, you have apartment experts, you have apartment pros, um, you have smart city locating. Uh, those are some great companies that you can go to learn from and they will hand you leads. And that's a great way to get introduced to the industry. And I definitely recommend going down that path. However, if you're deciding to go with Keller Williams, Caldwell Banker, or a smaller boutique real estate brokerage, then they might not be feeding you leads like some of these apartment specific companies are. So assuming that that's why you're on here watching the video, uh, because you're working for a boutique company, or just because you want to try to get leads on your own and start building your own portfolio, um, then this video is for you. So uh, pay attention. I'm going to uh, list out about six or seven different ways to get leads. And hopefully some of it is helpful to you. If it is, all I ask is that you uh, comment down below saying thank you. Uh, the video was great. Um, like, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing I have listed here and this might be something that you don't do right away, but I definitely feel like it's important, is building out a website. Um, if you need somebody to build you out a website, you can uh, ask me to do that. Uh, I, I have a, a friend that I can refer to you. Her name is Lexi. Uh, she has her own marketing company and she's building out my website right now. Uh, it's not uh, super expensive, um, but the beauty of having it is whenever you have one lead from your website close, it pays off the uh, fee for the website completely. And the reason why having a website is important is because if someone goes on Google and they look up apartment locator, Austin, apartment locator, uh, Tampa Bay, Florida, apartment locator, Denver, Colorado, your name is going to pop up on that list, assuming that you have uh, a website, you have good reviews, uh, so on and so forth. So with that said, the best thing that you can do is build out the website and then connect it to a Google My Business. So uh, there's videos out there on YouTube that talk about Google My Business. I'm not going to get into it too much, but uh, basically in order to be found on Google, you need to set up a Google My Business. And what that in, uh, entails is basically putting in the address that you're currently at, Google will send you a, a piece of mail that has a code on it, and that code you um, uh, you link it to the Google My Business uh, online. And then you have your own Google My Business store, Google My Business site live and ready to go, which you then connect to your website. And then from there, uh, it's all about getting traction and making sure that your name is big enough to where people see your apartment locating company and they wanna click on your page um, rather than the others because you have more reviews. And you can simply get reviews uh, from past clients you've worked with. Well, assuming this is uh, a new company that you just started off with, uh, you probably haven't worked with any clients. So friends and family, um, 
going door to door, you can just knock on people's door and say, hey, I'm a young guy, young gal. I'm trying to get into uh, this business. I'm, I'm fresh, but I'm hungry and I want to be somebody. And if you could just give me a five star review, it'd be greatly appreciated. I know we haven't worked together, but um, I'm just trying to make it somewhere. And if you could help me out, that'd be awesome. And honestly, people see that drive. They see that hunger. They see that uh, by any means necessary mentality and though they will be willing to help you out. So don't be afraid to go knock on doors. Don't be afraid to ask strangers. Um, that's a great way to start building the five star reviews and getting your online presence higher and higher. The algorithms will push you to the top. So when someone types in apartment locator, Minnesota, apartment locator, uh, Fargo, South Dakota, your name and your website will pop up. So that's kind of a bigger example. Some of the ones that I'll talk about here next and later in this video are smaller examples. That one was a little extreme. Uh, apologize for starting off with that, but uh, definitely think that's something to do. Maybe not right away, but, but later down the line for sure. So number two, you can get a lot of leads on Facebook Marketplace. So what I do is I use smartapartmentdata.com and that software tells me the different apartments and the different parts of Austin that are working with locators and paying a commission. Well, the ones that are paying a high commission, 100%, 125%, 150%, those are the one, ones that I go and research on Google and see if I can't find some stock footage uh, in their gallery mode whenever they're showing off the apartment complex on their website. So... Then what I do is I go to one of these websites, one of these apartment complexes, and I download all the pictures from the gallery. And then from there, I upload those to Facebook Marketplace and then include all the specs. So the square footage of the apartment unit, how much it's going for per month, uh, if they allow pets, um, um, if they have a washer dryer in unit, um, the different amenities that are there, um, so on and so forth, right? And then I post that on Facebook Marketplace and you will be amazed with how many people reach out to me and message me asking for more details about that complex. Well, assuming that they're interested enough in going and touring the complex, you just simply call, um, ask them for their phone number and uh, hop on a call with them and say, hey, you know, thanks so much for reaching out to me on Facebook. Uh, I'm able to tour this weekend. Uh, does that work for you? If it doesn't, maybe early next week, mid next week, late next week, whenever, right? But at least you have a warm lead that you can work with and go and uh, set a tour up with at the apartment complex and hopefully close. Uh, I think my first week of apartment locating, I put out three different uh, Facebook marketplace apartments for rent. And I got over 75 leads. People were in my DMs nonstop. It was overwhelming, to be honest. Uh, but that's a great way to get leads, to build traction, to start learning how to work with uh, potential clients, work with customers, and just see how the game goes. Um, you know, I think of those 75 initial messages I got on Facebook, probably 52 of them ended up ghosting me. But that's just how it goes sometimes, guys. And I still had 23 hot leads to work with. I got some tours set up. I got some deals closed. And uh, despite being stressful and overwhelming, I realized that you can make a lot of money in this industry. And Facebook Marketplace is a great way to get leads. So number three, um, Instagram. Okay, so there's two parts here. So first off, I think on your own personal Instagram, anytime you go out and tour an apartment complex, you need to take videos, you need to take pictures, you need to post them on your story, you need to post them on your uh, your timeline, and just get people looking at it, get their gears turning. Um, start to, to get them to um, see you as the apartment expert, the apartment guy, the person they should go to uh, with all things apartment related. Um, and then also, I strongly believe that you should build out another Instagram that is real estate specific. So I have two different ones. My main channel is at Matt underscore Worthington, and my real estate channel is at Top Tier Locating. And you can take a look at both of those and see kind of how I market myself. Um, and on the Top Tier Locating page, I have everything real estate related. Um, 
And what you can do once you have that page built out uh, is two things here. The first thing you can do is an Instagram sponsored ad. And you can set your reach to 250 people, 500 people, 1,000 people, 10,000 people, and have a smoking hot deal. Four weeks free, six weeks free, apartment in beautiful East Austin, apartment by the lake, uh, awesome deal, awesome promo. And then throw out that Instagram sponsored ad with that verbiage, that language. So whenever people see that ad pop up, they're like, wow, this is an awesome deal. I want to get more details on it. What do they do? They have to swipe up. And when they swipe up, it goes directly to your DMs. And when they message you, then you have a lead. Um, the second thing that you can do is if they don't swipe up, but they want to look at your profile a little bit further, then they can see all that good stuff and they might not message you. But what you can do in the bio is you can put in a link to a type form. So if you guys go to typeform.com, you can see that uh, you can fill out a questionnaire, essentially. It could be five questions, six questions, seven questions. The way that my type form is set up in top tier, on my top tier locating page is uh, what is your name, your phone number, your email, when are you looking to move, what's your budget per month, what is your annual income, um, and a couple other things. I can't think of them off the top. But whenever they submit that, it goes directly to my type form account and or my email. And I can take a look and see exactly what they're looking for. I have their name, their email, their phone number, and I can reach out to them, set up a call and uh, discuss a little bit more of what needs um, and wants they have, uh, uh, assuming that they're looking for an apartment complex. And nine out of 10 times, uh, it's usually a hot lead. They're, they're not only looking, but they're looking to move within the next month or two. So I definitely recommend those two things. Uh, just having a built out page uh, on Instagram, uh, uh, utilizing Instagram sponsored ads and having a type form that people can fill out. And then you can just go through all those requests and work with the ones that you want uh, and, and not work with the ones that you don't want. Uh, but of course, still reach out to them and just tell them that uh, you have somebody else you can refer them to because you're spread thin, right? Um, if that's the case. Um, number four, so TikTok. Uh, TikTok has been huge for me here as of recently. We have a top tier locating TikTok page. Again, Lexi, my marketing, um, uh, my marketing director, she's the one that oversees all the TikTok stuff. And man, she does such a good job. We have some videos that have over a hundred thousand views and we get TikTok leads out the wazoo. So you can just post fun little real estate videos, uh, apartment nuggets, apartment information stuff that would be helpful for someone that might be in the apartment search, uh, or just simply um, putting out some sort of, you know, marketing or advertising of a specific unit that has a great deal, just like you did on the Instagram sponsored ad. And the best thing to do is pair your TikTok with your Instagram. And so whenever they go on your page and look at that TikTok and the rest of the stuff and content that you have, they can go directly to your Instagram, which again leads you to the type form. And that type form leads directly to your email so that you can reach out to these leads. So they're all kind of linked and intertwined together. And that's definitely been a great way to build traction, at least for me and help me get leads. So TikTok's awesome. Number five, this is kind of a given, but I think it is important to leverage your friends and family. Reach out to everybody. Um, you know, the one thing about buying a house is not everybody can buy a house because it's expensive, right? But everybody has to live somewhere. So it's an apartment. The next best place to live in is apartment. And if they're going to live in an, in an apartment, they might as well use you to help them find an apartment. So definitely just be in your friends and family's ear, send them emails, text, call them, keep following up, letting them know that you are uh, there to help them. You're an apartment locator and uh, any sort of needs that they have when it comes to uh, moving out, you can certainly help them with and address those issues, concerns, questions, um, so on and so forth. So friends and family is number five. Number six, ask for referrals. So anybody that you've already helped, um, and this is, you know, a little later down the line, ask all these people if uh, they don't mind referring you off to their friends and family. Um, if you treat a client well, nine out of 10 times, they'll be more than happy to help you out. They'll be more than happy to send you their friends' names that are looking for places. 
And that is just an awesome way to continue getting leads is uh, referral based and word of mouth. So that's definitely a big one there too. And then uh, the last one I had is follow ups. So anybody that you've helped move into a spot already, they are either going to continue to live there for a couple of years or after a year, after their 12 months is up, after their lease is up, they need to go somewhere else. So it's really important to follow up with all your clients that you've previously helped moving into spots and ask them if they need help finding another spot. And a lot of times they'll be tickled to use your services because you helped them find a spot the most recent time and the process was smooth and you were helpful, attentive, responsive, respectful, and just simply fun. You know, they had a good time working with you. So the follow-up is huge. Definitely try to follow up with all your clients that you helped move into a spot about nine or 10 months into their lease. It's, a, it's really important to keep track of this uh, because you can get a lot of leads this way too. So guys, that's all I got today. Uh, seven different ways to get leads. Hopefully some of this was helpful. If it was helpful, please give me a thumbs up, you know, like, subscribe, uh, say, you know, tell me, tell me so in the comments below. Um, but uh, I'm kind of running out of different um, video ideas to, to put together. So if you guys have something that you would like me to talk about, something that would help you guys in your apartment locating journey, uh, don't hesitate to uh, reach out. My phone number is 512-584-7225. You guys can call me, text me anytime. Uh, you can DM me on Instagram at Matt underscore Worthington. Uh, give me a follow um, on my real estate page. It's at Top Tier Locating. And I just started a podcast. So if you guys want to listen to any of the podcast episodes, uh, the podcast um, Instagram is at riser.podcast. Um, but that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much again for the support, for the love. I hope you all have an awesome week and go make some money. Peace.